Right, so this is my uh, me detox video. Uh, overall, I found the experience pretty difficult. Straight away, there are issues with what counts as media and the complexities of defining media. As I went to use a bank machine and I thought, does this count as media? Um, because there's a communication going on there between me and the technology and it mediates me and my money. So I probably thought that was cheating a little bit. But the biggest issue of the day was um, the general feeling of isolation I get from not using media. Texting and phoning are a big part of my day, especially living away from home. And without these, you really do miss them. Also, social media, using Facebook, even though it may feel like a trivial um, part, it may feel like a minor, not important part of your day, it, it really does kind of reinforce the sense of community that you get. If you've got nothing going on, you you know, nothing to do, it kind of breaks that day up to go on Facebook and check what other people are doing, you can kind of escape what's going on in your life. Um, so without that, yeah, I, I kind of I f felt pretty lonely. But also, it was because there was nothing to fill this void. Because we couldn't even read or write, we couldn't b basically do most things, there was nothing to fill the gap of media and it left me feeling pretty lonely and bored. But I definitely think I learned from the day that I use Facebook way too much um, and it, can't, it really does just make, make me procrastinate from important things I need to be doing. Most of the time I, I'm not getting much out of it, I'm just wasting my time on it. But so and without that I got I got really um I really felt I had a lot of time to concentrate on other things, more energy, more time, but without being able to read or write I wasn't able to put this time into good use. It was just wasted. So I felt that not being able to read or write was quite pointless. But I would definitely say that cutting back on my Facebook use is a priority of mine now because it's just a waste of time, um, especially now when I need to be doing more important things. Going on Facebook is just, it's just not beneficial at all. But yeah, then I did the media immersion, and I think the main um, form of media I encountered on the university campus was posters and flyers that I literally just plastered all over the walls. Um, most of them are advertisements, but due to the student-related audience um they're mostly non-profit just for like societies events stuff run by the uni that is free for students uh, but others did aim to get money however they presented themselves as like discounts and offers due to the audience of students and therefore there's assumptions that students don't have a lot of money and therefore they're not going to splash out on expensive meals or things like that But because they entailed like offers and discounts, you didn't really feel bombarded and hassled by them. You more felt helped out. However, when I went to check my emails later on, I think I got the complete opposite feeling. I felt really irritated at the amount of adverts that I got, uh, and from companies and websites that I just had no interest in. And I thought this is probably because giving your email address out has become a really trivial act, and you, and it's such a basic requirement from a lot of websites to ask for your email address that we do it so often that we put no thought into giving out and so a consequence of this is receiving a lot of emails that you have no interest in, you have no interest from buying from this company and it just ends up being like spam to you. Yeah but one thing I really realised was that a mobile phone is like a modern essential. Without my mobile I couldn't really cope very well, it was really hard to arrange meetings with people. It I, it was really hard just to do ba have basic acts done, like an alarm clock, a calculator. Like these are things I don't own, uh, and because people assume that you know the package of a mobile phone will encompass these things, so you probably don't actually have the actual object anymore. So yeah, a mobile phones like pretty pretty necessary these days. But one thing I thought I really need to stop using was Facebook. I thought Facebook was just such a waste of time. It was just it would just pose a distraction from things that I needed to be getting on with, like my important tasks. It was just a diversion from that, and I, you could end up spending hours just doing nothing on it, and then think you I just hours spent procrastinating on Facebook, and it's just such a waste of time. So 
yeah I hope to cut that down but all other forms of media I think are pretty useful um, so yeah that was my media detox.